Let's run through the preparation process for Cito's next growth cycle. It involves several stages, so let's begin. First, remove the growth slab and dispose of it. Clean your Cito thoroughly from all visible debris, such as leaves, rock wool, etc. Now let's take care of the sensors. Remove both the EC and pH sensors and rinse them in a cup of clean tap water. We recommend cleaning the tip of the EC sensor with a gentle brush to remove any accumulated residue. Fill the pH sensor cap with clean tap water and place it back on the sensor's tip. The cap was left inside the compartment during the pH sensor installation. If you don't have the cap, you can place the tip in a glass of water. It's important to keep it in a wet environment until you begin the next growth cycle. Place it back in the sensor box, but not in its place. Now let's clean and wash the inner surface. First, make sure that your drainage container is well connected and completely empty and can hold at least 4 gallons or 16 liters. First wash. Go to the app setting menu and choose Water Management, Empty Water to drain all the water from your device. This process may take a few minutes. During this time, we can clean the inside of the machine. This process will require hydrogen peroxide, gloves, and a spray bottle. Mix 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide 3% with 500 milliliters of water and spray the entire inner surface of the machine. In case you don't have a spray bottle, you can use any disinfectant wipes to do so. Wipe it down. Second wash. Mix 500 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide along with 5 liters of water and pour it onto the bottom tray. Make sure to pour the liquid all over the tray and on the sprinklers so the liquid will enter the channel on the left side of the tray. Once again, make sure your drainage is properly connected and empty. Go to the app setting menu and choose Water Management, Empty Water to drain all the water from your device. That's it, we're done. Your Cito device is now clean. Please remember, before starting a new growth cycle, replace the air filter, nutrients bottles, CO2 cylinder, and use a new growth slab. If you use tap water, we recommend replacing the water filter every six months. Prior to starting a new grow, remember to calibrate the pH sensor. If no growth plan is running, the pH sensor must be in a wet environment. Enjoy your new cycle!